Welcome back, everyone, to Pod of Thrones. I'm sick, Jeff. I'm well, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, babe, you're going to have to <coughs> do the heavy lifting this week. I, I didn't want to miss a week because there's always things to talk about, and we're on a roll. I don't want to don't want to lose it now, but I am not well. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm not well. Poor thing. So, but I did rest a little bit, so even though I should be going to bed right now, I'm kind of wide awake. Are you ready? So I figured, why not we pod? Why not we podcast? Why not we podcast? <laughs> why we not a podcast? Oh no! Uh, <laughs> jar jar. <I> gotta... <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, Annie, Misa, want a podcast? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I took some Dayquil at some point. Is that affecting my brain? I've got a box of tissues here. I'm going to try really hard not to sniffle into the microphone like a angry Donald Trump. Mm, you don't want to get everybody sick. Yeah, don't. Do not, under any circumstances, lick your phone right now because you will get my germs and you don't want that. <clears throat> hey, I hear that's a problem. Okay. Yeah. So what what, what, what we talking about, Jar Jar? <laughs> uh, well, we're going to talk about The Walking Dead, but do you have anything fun in Game of Thrones to talk about? Um, well, I was just looking at some of the news that was going on and there really isn't much except uh, there's rumors that they think Sansa's going to die. Not oh. not they as in the producers, but there's just rumors going around. I saw that headline. Did and you? The, I do not want to click on that headline. Did you click on I that I clicked headline? on the headline. Oh. And basically, it just says that there's people on Reddit that are starting rumors. Oh, saying, one of those. Okay. Well, we did stuff like that last week. So what's this theory then? Uh, Sansa's going to Sansa's be because her dire wolf was one of the first to die. I think was the first to die. Okay. Um, <clears throat> That was symbolic of the, that she'll be the first to die although rickon was first to die did rickon rickon yeah rickon's wolf no rickon himself i don't i was just no, thinking Rickin. if they were saying that her dire wolf was the first to die shouldn't be she be the first to die well lady was the first wolf to die right yeah so yeah i don't know if that holds up but there is i mean Sansa's lived a long time without her dire wolf, but yes, the dire wolves and the people have tended to not survive one without the other. But like when Rob died, that was both of them at the same time on the same night. Yeah. And Shaggy Dog and Rickon. Shaggy Dog and Rickon around died the same time. in pretty close proximity for obvious reasons. Um, who else? Uh, who am I? Well, I mean, we know that Ghost is alive, of course, so is Jon Snow, although he did die, but not for long. Yeah, uh, well. And Nymeria is alive, and so is Arya. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, but um, I feel like I'm forgetting a wolf. Oh, Summer. Summer died. And Bran Summer. is still alive. Well. But he's not really Bran anymore. No, he's not. So maybe that counts for something. Like, he became um, something else. They were also saying that there are points in the show where... Uh, Arya said at one point that there's nobody there to protect Sansa anymore. I, I well, but that was during their fake fight, wasn't it? I don't know. I guess <laughs> I'm just telling you what I read. Um, yeah. it the picture was of them during that fight where they were quoting it from. So probably, uh, there was her picture of her in her black dress. Um, they talked about how many close calls she's had. I don't know. They just think yeah. it's time for her to die. Oh, and that they are, uh, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said there were, there was no room for words in the war against the white walkers. Keep, keep going. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is Phil, Phil, baby. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The anyway, sneeze, so, the sneeze went away. All right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. They they just, you know, think that Sansa's going to die first. I think still that she's going to rule. Sansa. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I I would I would be very surprised if all of the remaining Starks made it through this. I think we've, John's going to he well, has to die. We've got Bran, we got Arya, Sansa, and then John, sort of a Stark, you know, however illegitimate he may be, he's Stark blood four of them left at least one of them has got to go right yeah well yes <laughs> i agree if um, you had to lose a stark which one would you be okay with 
Bran, Arya, Sansa. Bran, for sure. But he's super all-powerful dude now, sort of. He's so boring. <laughs> but he's powerful. Okay, well, it can't be John. I don't want Arya to go. It can't. She's my favorite super ninja. You can't know. really be Arya, and Sansa can't be, because she's going to rule the world. Well, it definitely could be Arya, because she's a frontline fighter. Well, not a frontline fighter type, but she's a fighter. She seeks out danger. So it's totally possible that she'll get caught in her acting at some point. Hmm. But I don't want that to happen. I feel like if any of them die, it's going to be giving up their life to protect something else. Like one of the other Starks. Yeah. Or, or Daenerys in John's case. Who knows? If Tyrion dies, it would probably be to save Daenerys. I can't wait to see where Nymeria is at. And they're, they've got to bring her back to do something. Well, they fucking better. If they just had her show up for that, what, two minutes in season seven? I yes. don't even know what season we're on anymore. It was right around the just, time when Ed Sheeran was on, wasn't it? I think it was the episode after. Yeah, like episode two or something. Mm-hmm. But if she just shows up for that and then goes away again... Lame. Yeah, that would that would not. That's I would not the, be okay with that. I don't think they'd do that. But in the book, she like Nymeria has a whole wolf pack that follows her around, and she clearly was like kind of like fuck you, Arya, but not really because she didn't attack Arya or anything. There's still love there. They're family. Mm-hmm, I so agree. we're gonna see Nymeria again. She's gonna turn the tide of some mid-sized battle. I think her and her wolf army. <sighs> what? I can't wait. Oh. Well, keep waiting, babe. We're still I at know. least a year out, which is why we're going to talk about The Walking Dead tonight. Okay, let's talk you know about what, that. You know what we didn't talk about mm. uh, the last time we recorded, and I felt kind of bad about that? <clears throat> Kevin Smith. Oh, well, I mean, everybody's talking about Kevin Smith. He doesn't need us talking about him. But I love him. And he loves you, I'm sure. No, yeah, he doesn't know me. But he still loves you. <laughs> He had a massive heart attack, babe. He almost died. Mm -hmm. We listened to his story the other day while we were driving. Yes, he had a massive heart attack and they saved his life like almost instantly. It didn't take long for them to (laughs) open up his his 100% clogged Widowmaker artery. Yeah, really something though, huh? What did you think of the story? Was it sad, inspirational? Did it make you want to embrace life and seize the day? Uh, you know, I I do as much as I can already. <laughs> I I don't have any more. Um, no, right. it was it was. I suppose enlightening a little bit. Yeah, you know, just. Well, it's definitely made me think. Like, what if I have an artery that's. Yeah, it makes clogged. you want to get it checked out, huh? Maybe that's why I'm tired all the time. You it's... should get it checked out. Well, maybe I should. Yes. Well, let's see if this turns into a full-blown sinus infection. If it does, I'm going to the doctor anyway. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll They can't look at two soon. things at once. You know this. I think two is the limit. <laughs> I think you're allowed to ask about two things and no, three is not <laughs> going to be okay. I think if you... oh, fucking, fucking health insurance system hate this shit um anyway so kevin because i know you're listening we love you Uh well i love you Uh, well no i love him too anything that you love i love oh really Mm -hmm. i love chicks do i love chicks that's what i'm asking baby chicks (laughs) (laughs) not quite what i mean they're cute you you can take that whatever direction you feel is appropriate you love chicks you don't love chicks. Chicks are chicks like... I don't love dudes. Chicks are... <laughs> chicks are women that mm. like wear tank tops and have big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you that's don't not, love that's girls not your, like that. That's not your type either, huh? No. <laughs> okay. We'll have to do a special podcast just about what your they type like of boob, woman is. They have like side boobs hanging out their tank top. Mm-hmm. They used to be cheerleaders, maybe. Now they're hooked on. Chicks are like Laker so. girls, <laughs> like Paul Abdul used to be. <laughs> <laughs> she got hooked on painkillers. I think we're all going in the same direction. Here. <laughs> okay, so moving on then. Okay, <laughs> Kevin Smith, <laughs> you're awesome. I'm glad you're not dead. There we go. 
All right. So The Walking Dead, we watched this uh-huh. last night before I collapsed. Episode 10, The Lost and the Plunderers. <sighs> well. Not even sure quite what to make of that. Who's the lost and who's the plunderers? Are the saviors the plunderers or was that the garbage people? And which one's lost? Rick's probably the lost. I hmm. Well, I'm sure that we missed something. But maybe not. Jadis is kind of lost now. Maybe they're all lost and they're all plunderers. How about that? Uh, no, they're... No. No? I think Rick is the lost and Negan are the plunderers. All right. You know, th- this episode was unique and actually made me think of Kevin Smith and the way Clerks was laid out in its storytelling where we had these cards in between the major scenes with mm-hmm. the, someone's name on them. Yeah. You remember Clerks, right? Where yes. it had like a, like a vocabulary word in between each thing. But it kind of reminded me of that, just the cut to black and you've got someone's name and then you got a scene. Um, so let's, let's rate them all as lost or plunderer as we go. Okay. All right. So section one was Michonne. She was our first lost or plunderer. So what happened in her segment here? Uh, she cried. Eh, she cries a lot now. She, gets she saw enraged. Carl's hand print with Judas. Yeah. She cried yeah. a lot. They were saying goodbye to Alexandria, which looked a lot better than I thought it would. Well, their house is fine. It looked like the whole town was on fire the other episodes. Like at the season. It can't burn forever. At the finale and then the new one. But their house looked totally intact. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, whatever the fuck. Um, Now, did we talk about this already? Why the frick did Negan's gang bomb that town when it was the (laughs) nicest place around? It was well. Now, we we were asking ourselves that, but now it doesn't look like they touched it at all. They burned down a gazebo and then they left (laughs) with the gates open. No, I thought, no, he said we bombed it. I think that one well, house some just of those didn't ha- get touched. Like just Rick's house? Like, leave that one pristine so he can suffer while his people are homeless. Maybe. Could be. <laughs> don't touch Rick's stuff. I don't know how to do a Negan, but I certainly can't try it while I'm sick. No. Um, okay, so uh, uh, Michonne tried to close the gate to Alexandria. Okay, Mm -hmm. maybe she was trying to save the town, but she couldn't quite get there. We did see a zombie get his face just like... Ripped off! Oh, man, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, And then they packed a van, and then they tried to save a gazebo, and they just wasted two perfectly good fire extinguishers and almost died. What the fuck? Well, they don't do some... You know, this show... You still got Carl's handprints totally okay on that porch. Why do you have to save a gazebo where he used to hang out? Because he used to sit on the roof. Uh huh. And watch. I I don't know. I love my kids so much, but I don't know if I would be that sentimental to, in the apocalypse, waste perfectly good resources and almost get myself killed trying to save something that really they were didn't have over to do with emotional. Them. Okay, imagine right. your child died. Uh, have you no sense of loss? I I would be. I would take the Rick method like i would be all about devoting my life to revenge i get it i just don't get why you would try to save the gazebo it was just dumb right it was she was emotional yeah she was it's michonne for you always letting her emotions get her yeah uh, they find they they take a quick look through carl's letters which they haven't opened yet there's one addressed to negan yes doesn't doesn't have a stamp on it though, so they're not going to be able to deliver it properly. <laughs> um, and then uh, Rick declared that they have to go help Jadis, uh, and then they get to Garbageville, and they trigger a trap immediately and get trapped by garbage, and then zombies. Yeah. So who set the trap? I guess Jadis must have, after all the other stuff went down, because it wasn't there before. Maybe they had a trap like pre-rigged, but they didn't put the tripwire out until they needed it. So mm. then she just had to string the tripwire. Good wire. plan. Maybe, good plan. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but there you go. So that that was the whole Michonne section. There was a lot of time trying to save a gazebo. And we know that there's a Nika letter. That's all we got out of that. Yep. All right. Further thoughts? I On Michonne's like, part? That, no. that one was kind of short. All right. No. So was she lost or plunderer? Probably lost, right? Lost. 
She didn't plunder. I anything. guess. In fact, she did the opposite of plunder. She just gave some fucking fire extinguishers away. All right. I'm sorry. I just didn't like it. Uh, section two, Negan. I was afraid we weren't going to see him this episode again because we were going to do all this. Got to save Jadis, go into Garbageville and all this shit. But they did not keep him hidden this time. And thank goodness. <clears throat> I know eventually he's going to die or something. I'm going to miss him. He looks a little different. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe it's just been so long since you've seen him. I think that he's either gained or lost weight. I think he's lost some weight since uh, his his origin, since we first saw him. But I, I think this season he's been consistent. Hmm. Okay. He's kind of skinny, huh? I don't skinny know. Skinny dude. Hard uh, to say. All right. Section two, Negan. All right. So let's see. We're in his meeting room. He's kind of pissed off that Carl played him in Alexandria because they got away, right? But he has a respect for Carl getting one over on him, even though he's pissed. Mm -hmm. uh, Simon comes in. There's no word from Gavin yet, but they assume Gavin's going to get his shit taken care of. And uh, Simon wants to just fucking kill everybody. He wants to kill everybody at the hilltop. He wants to kill all the garbage people. And that's where he's being sent. He's he mad. He doesn't get to go kill hilltop people. But his job is to just go kill one garbage person, mm -hmm. send a message, and then leave. And why? Because these people are still a... You remember the keyword? I wrote it down, so I'm cheating. No, They're obviously. a resource. Oh. People are a resource. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's true. I can't really argue that. Whether you're a good ruler or a bad ruler, people are a resource of sorts either way. It's just a question of how you treat them. Right. Well, he only killed one. I mean, who was only supposed to kill one? Yeah, yeah. Simon was only supposed to kill one, uh, and yeah, Simon's gonna lose his shit. And he was just like, "Let's just fuck all these people and let's go find some new people to quote unquote save." Was his way of putting it, which really just means subjugate and make mm -hmm. them fucking farm for us. Fucking lazy asshole. Uh, but Negan still believes that they're actually saving people, and that's hard. That's hard work. You don't just take the easy way out. Do you think Negan really believes that? Are they really? Does he really think that they're saving people? Yes. Well, what we'll see very soon is is well, we've seen it before, I guess. So let's just refer back in time, like when the saviors say, "We own you now," and they start taking away not just your food but also your weapons and stuff. They leave behind this promise of like. You know, we're we're the shit. We're going to keep you guys alive and you're going to give us your food. It just sounds like a mafia it is. protection racket. And it's not like you see them fighting off other gangs. Excuse me. Well, right. Okay. Now, maybe there are no other gangs to fight off except for Rick. Um, but if 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 the garbage if garbage town or whatever gets overrun by zombies are the saviors actually going to come and risk their lives to save these guys because it just doesn't seem like it it really just seems like a shakedown i agree but negan even in private when it's just him and simon still refers to it as actually saving people so does he believe i don't know what he believes babe i don't know either he's really hard to read there is much more going on out there that we don't see. All we're seeing is Rick and Michonne's, you know, all we're seeing is the, the people that we know. There must be other things that they're protecting them from. That the saviors are protecting other people from? Must be. Well, if they're the dominant gang in the area and everybody but Rick, who just got to town, knows not to fuck with the saviors, then it would just be the zombies, I think. But I guess He's just trying to lay down the law. Negan? Well, yeah, and Negan has a certain code of honor. Like You have nothing to fear from that dude if you just do your job and do it right. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want to go kill people... Although I don't like the kneeling. Then you're going to get in trouble. Well, yeah, when he asks you to kill someone, you better do it. Mm-hmm. You better do it right, <laughs> just like everything else. All right. I don't well, know. I don't... He's, he's, a, he's a puzzle, and I he really is. love him. He's damaged. Yeah, just like the rest of us. Rick's mm -hmm. damaged. Holy shit, is that guy damaged? Whew. Um, what? I hope he doesn't lose, lose Judith now. If he does, he might as well just 
put the gun in his mouth because what else is there? He doesn't even think Judith is his kid, but he still loves her and has vowed to raise her. So he better, better do something better. That sucks. Better do it better. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah. So Negan's thing is we're going to make us all work. We just need to kill that one motherfucker, Rick, Rick Grimes. Um, and then before we end the Negan section, we cut over to Hilltop. Oh no, sorry. It's the Hilltop coffin that arrives at Negan's office and it has Dean inside. So Dean's Mm -hmm. dead now and a zombie. And that was just a little message from the Hilltop. What was it? We have 38 more. Yes. That's a lot of people. Where are they keeping them? In that pen inside the wall. They had them outside the wall, but then that. Is are they still there? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maggie only killed one. Teach well, it's fair. It's very Negan-ish. Mm-hmm. Just she is Negan. She Maggie is, is Negan. Negan. <gasps> oh, could she be good Negan or is she going to turn to the dark side? And start Maybe Maggie like a, and Negan get together. Like a harem of, of men. Mm, that could be that, but she's pregnant still, so. Is she? I don't know. Is she? That's going to be the smallest baby that's ever been born. Mm, yeah. But we haven't seen her yet. Maybe there are a lot of... I'm sure she's going to be huge. No, not a lot of time passed since the mid-season finale. What am I saying? It was the same day. Never mind. Mm-hmm. She'll be huge. I'm sure we'll see her in the next episode. All right. So that was the end of... Okay. So Negan, Lost or Plunderer? Plunderer. Still more of a plunderer. He wants to get everything locked down so that he can go back to his way of life. I think Lost and Plunderer is referring to something else, but let's move on. All right. Well, do you want to share that now? or I don't know what. Okay. I'm hoping oh. it works itself out by the end of this. All right. The next section was Enid. I'm just going to say right now, lost. Lost. Definitely lost. And it was her and Aaron capt- captured by the, the, the beach. Ocean people. The beach dwelling girls. Yeah. The mermaids. Uh, now led by Cindy because. Grandma's Enid dead. Enid killed grandma mm-hmm. last episode. Um. Oops. But not a lot happened here. They were going to kill, they were going to kill Enid and Aaron. And then Enid had some tough talk and said, you know, it was grandma's fault. Fucking, you shouldn't have you know, done the shit. And so whatever. Fuck right. You. So they and let like, them if you go. kill us, then people are going to come looking for us. And if you kill them, then more people are going to come and eventually they're going to kill you anyway. So just fucking let us go. And they did. And that was it. That was it. I and know. Then, what was the point? And then Aaron's like, I'm going to stick around for a while and watch these chicks creepily from a distance or something. I yeah, This is getting bizarre. But what was the point of going there? I think they were just going to try to get them to join the fight, but they took all their guns away. So they're not going to be good for much, I, I wouldn't think. Yeah, Unless that's a poor plan. you're going to rearm them. But then Hilltop just lost all their guns. So there's not that many guns to go around. Rick even made a point of taking Carl's gun. And I don't know if that was in tribute or if he was just like... Oh, I better keep that just in case. You never leave guns. Well, I would agree. Even for as much as I don't like guns in this world, if we were in that world, you never leave guns behind. (laughs) Definitely not. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So that was it. That was the whole section Enid. Definitely a lost, if we're going to do that. She's going to be so sad. Uh, next section was Simon. He's never gotten a thing all to himself before. I Way know. To go, Simon. He really yucked it up this time. He is a quintessential asshole, but I do love the character. He's so much fun. You laughed your ass off at him. Did I? Yeah. Well, I'll refresh your memory. They get to Garbage Town. Garbage Town lets them in. Again, I don't know why anyone does anything <laughs> they do in this show. Uh, and then they've all got their guns out. And then it's like all of Garbage Town. And then like eight savior guys. And Simon doesn't have a gun out. So it's like seven armed savior guys. You could end this shit so fast. Just shoot them all, right? Because you know when they show up, it's not going to be for anything good. But okay. And well, they know that if they kill them, then more of Negan's people are going to come. So uh, so Simon says he needs an apology from Jadis and blah, blah, blah. I know you betrayed us. And her story is that she delivered Rick to them and they fucked it up. Mm-hmm. And that's when you laughed your ass off when he said. I don't know. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he screamed. He was like red face. Bull! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> and you were howling. <laughs> um, that was funny. And And from all that. 
He's like, give us your guns or it's fucking over. And she does it. Mm -hmm. I just, I just don't get it. You know why? You have these assholes so outnumbered and surrounded and you're still giving up the guns. It's because her bangs are too short. That's why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, Simon then asked why there's a helipad and solar panels in the Yeah, ground. why? And, and he asked, like, if she knows what this place used to be before the apocalypse. And she was like, it's a dump or whatever. It was always a dump. I found that very interesting. I'm waiting to see if there's, like a secret Pentagon underneath. And that's where the president's been hiding out all this time. Well, but she said later on that it was always a dump. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't get it. Okay. Uh, although it did lead to one thing, but it doesn't explain the helipad. Uh, so Simon winds up shooting like the old dude. That's like her number two. Mm -hmm. And she gets all upset and she's like, I remorse or something like that. There is remorse. There is remorse. And then mm -hmm. he's like, eh. And he shoots the other number two, the chick one. So he shoots the old guy and the younger girl. And then Jay just loses her fucking mind. Mm hmm And what did she say? Like, there is remorse, you mother son of a bitch. She hits him in the face. Yeah. Well, yeah. She punches him, calls him a son of a bitch, which seemed very un like Right. All of a sudden she could speak. To use those kind of words. And then... He's just like, fuck you, lady, and kills them all, except Jadis. Why do you leave her alive at that point? Yeah. What does that serve? You just want to punish her, I guess, extra, make well, her suffer, but it's going to backfire on you. You were not supposed to kill everyone. He probably thought she'd be eaten by her zombie friends. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. But she is the queen of the garbage pit, so she knows how to get around. I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. But it's going to end badly for him sooner or later. We it's saw another, him get pretty jittery later in the episode. It's another emotionally charged situation. Yeah. He made a bad call. Mm -hmm. But he also wanted to make that call. He, he was wanted ready. He wanted it. He, yeah. was, he was hungry. He wanted to take them all down. He was just looking for an excuse. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what Negan does to him. Oh, I don't think Simon's going to make it past maybe one or two more episodes. He's, he's going to die soon. Um. So, yeah, so Simon orders the slaughter, and then before the Simon section's over, we cut back to Sanctuary. There's still no word from Gavin, and, uh, oh, that's right, Simon gets back to, Simon comes back to Sanctuary, they start unloading some plunder or whatever, and then all of a sudden on one of the walkie-talkies, Rick's on the line, and that's where Simon was looking nervous. He said everything went fine, you know, I just, I did it like you said, I should do it, do do, -do. So the second Negan finds out that even two people got killed instead of all of them. I don't know what Simon's thinking, man. He uh, Does he think he has that much favor curried with Negan where he can get away with that? I, I think he thought he wasn't going to find out. I don't know. Well, to be fair, Negan probably doesn't visit the garbage land very often. No. Doesn't seem like his kind of scene. He doesn't Although, go around. Don't you think he'd kind of like Jadis? She's not ugly. Weird haircut. But not ugly. Okay. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I would not do Jadis. I, mean, I guess I'd, you would. I'd, I'd want her to take a bath or 12 mm -hmm. first. But you know, after that, we could talk. Um, okay. So that was the end of section, Simon. Plunderer? Definitely a plunderer. A little yes. kind of Kind of lost. I mean, he's lost his way, certainly. True. He's not handling this pressure very well. And Negan told him that he's just barely keeping it together. Yeah. I guess Negan, if, Negan blew up at him. I guess if you're barely keeping it together, you can't expect your people to do just as well when you're showing the cracks, right? As the leader, you've got to hold it together at all times, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Shame on Negan. I liked him. All right. It's been a rough couple weeks. Next section was Jadis, where I then found out that I've been spelling it wrong this whole time. I think it's the Game of Thrones syndrome, where I just assume everyone's name has a Y in it. So I've been spelling Jadis, J-A-Y-D-I-S, this whole time. But according to the title card, it's just J-A-D-I-S. Uh, and the, so Rick and Michonne arrive at Garbageville. Oh, well, we saw them arrive. So they're navigating around the traps and the zombies. And they find Jadis sitting on top of Garbage Mountain in like a white spaghetti strap dress 
Or nightgown. Or nightgown or something. It's a new look. It's a and, summer summer outfit. And she's just like, instead of being like, we loot, no bother, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> she, sound, she sounds like someone from Jabba's palace. Um, <laughs> instead of that, she's just like, yeah, I used to hang out here when I was a kid, you know? And there's no one's like, hey, what the fuck, lady? Right. All of a sudden you lost your weird. <laughs> I mean, they noticed, but that would have been, I would have been like, okay, forget the zombies. What the fuck? Why have you been talking <laughs> like an alien that just landed <laughs> this whole time? I was. Uh, she never well, left. it's because they were trying to create a new thing. Well, right. And, and that. That's, Without language. That's so weird. You didn't need language. It was all love and trash. <laughs> do you think there was a lot of love? Did they fuck a lot? Probably, huh? I think I mean, so. What else do you have to do? Yeah, I mean, I think Jadis was gay. Maybe bisexual. Oh, no, but well, maybe bi, but she wanted Rick. She wanted him bad. Oh, that's right. I think she was bisexual. She wanted yeah. him bad. Or she just transcends sex. She's uh, fluid. Fluid. That's what we call it, right? Um. So, yeah. She apparently used to come here when she was a kid Mm -hmm. and used to love hanging around the garbage. She could get cloth and steel. And they organized the garbage to make it into Garbage Town. And I guess that's her story. And she's totally normal, so to speak. (laughs) Yeah, I was looking at her haircut during the Simon scene and I was thinking, I, I I always have to remind myself that this really is just a comic book on TV because I'm looking at her hair going, how does she keep it that tidy with the bangs just perfectly straight across in the front and in the back, everything's like neat and orderly because they don't look like they'd have really good clippers and stuff there or scissors or even well, whatever. But I mean, where do you find a salon? Honestly. She has people. Okay. Well, I'm glad that doesn't have to be sacrificed in the apocalypse. You know, the loyalty to a hairstyle. Uh, so she wants to come with them. Rick's going to get out of there thanks to the magic of car doors. And uh, Rick's like, no, fuck you, lady. And um, in the end, actually, like, she's almost with them and she's getting surrounded by zombies and he fires a shot over her head. Yeah. I don't even know why. He just want, he says later he just wanted her to go away. What a dick. Well, I don't want her with... She screwed him over so many times. But they had just made an alliance, and in making that alliance, she paid the price. Like, all of her people are gone. And he's well, just like, well, fuck you, She kind of deserves it. I'm not saying she doesn't, but but this is one of those situations where I would totally take Negan's side and say people are a resource. Jadis knows how to shoot a gun. She knows her way around a lot of places around here, and she's been here longer than we have. She's not trustworthy. She's not trustworthy. If if the, she's gonna hate the sa- she's not gonna make any more deals with the saviors. She's got you nothing. don't know she's that got, she's she gonna has, do whatever it works for her. She's got nothing to lose. If Negan says come on my way, and I was gonna say something bad, but I feel like I shouldn't. You can be my new wife. Yes, something like that. And I won't hurt hurt you. She would do it. Only if she gets to bash Simon's brains in first. But even then, I don't think she would. But now she's going to hate Rick and Simon. I think she's going to hate the Saviors more. All her people are gone, baby. All of them. Yeah. All she's going to go cray cray. Yeah. I mean, if she wasn't already, and it's really hard to tell anymore, <laughs> I would have said, yes, she's obviously crazy. And then it's like, oh, maybe she was just acting. And why not? Ezekiel was acting and we don't, we like him, you know. She was kind of doing the same thing. It was all theatrics. Do you think True. that would happen in the apocalypse? People, would people would just, just get all weird and theatrical just because they can. Yeah, why not? All right, I'll, I'll do it. I, I, me too. I'm in. All right, we'll, we'll have to develop our <laughs> our characters. Yeah, hmm. um, we should do that. We should work on our post apocalypse characters and who we're going to be and what our affectations will be. Okay. Whether it's tigers or funny new languages. <laughs> <laughs> we got to come up with something good. Um, all right. So it looked like Rick tried to get her killed or whatever, but he left her behind. She gets away. And next thing you know, we find out that at least the solar panels there serve one purpose, which is to run the super shredder. Oh my gosh. That, that was gross. was awesome. 
I've seen a lot of criticisms online of like the special effects in the show and not the, not the zombie effects or anything, but like sometimes there's an explosion that just looks like it was made on, I don't know, Microsoft paint, or there was that deer in that one episode where like Rick was like smiling at a deer and then almost got himself killed over it. And that deer really just looked like someone had cut it out of another piece of film by hand and, and just taped it with scotch tape on top of like the other film or something. There's been some bad effects, but this shredder, I was impressed. It was pretty good. Yeah. I I have no idea how you do that. Maybe I think here's what they did. I think they were filming a real meat shredder or whatever that was. I think it's like a car shredder. (laughs) And they were throwing meat into it and then they would Photoshop in a face or a body Hmm. or they just had bodies, you know? That is Fake like, bodies. I feel like Jadis with enough organization and some help could just end the apocalypse. You Why? Could just, you could feed whole herds of zombies into that thing. It's never going to get clogged up with body parts. It's made to shred cars. Hmm. You could feed that thing an infinite number of zombies. And as long as there's somewhere for all that meat juice to go. Ugh. Did you see how big the pile was? <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, so there's need... going to be some maggots and some grossness. <laughs> you need some shepherds. You need Jadis running the shredder, and you need a couple guys with dump trucks. And one of them just pulls up under the shredder at all times. You just feed millions of zombies into that thing. Oh, It'll clog so eventually. No way. Just pour some acid in there and yeah. keep going, huh? <laughs> yeah. I was, I was really impressed. That was one of my favorite mass zombie kills this whole fucking show. Um. And then she goes to her filing cabinet. Because, of course, she has a filing cabinet. Of apple juice. Oh, applesauce. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? She, it was yes. applesauce. She, I, I stopped taking notes. I guess I was just too confused. I remember she went to her filing cabinet. Yeah, her all right, you're right. cabinet of applesauce. She pulled out a can of applesauce and started drinking. Oh, yeah, that's where I was like, boy, is she going to have the shits later? Uh-huh. Which you would not want if you're on the road and wearing a white dress. Well, it's not going to be good, but she's probably okay with being stinky at this point. I just don't know. Honestly, <laughs> um, I'm really unsure of what she's going to she do. She seems angry, but she was eating applesauce, which means she's trying to like carb up and she's strengthening her resolve to do whatever she has to do next. But it's like what? spinach for her. Probably. Oh, that'd be amazing. She's like about to die and Negan's like chasing at her with like a baseball bat in his hands and she just crunches open a can of applesauce and chugs it and then she (laughs) uppercuts him into space. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But what could her plan be if she's all by herself? I don't know. She doesn't have any guns, but she should have something stashed away somewhere in her filing cabinet. She's going to have to be a sneaky. She's going to have to put some black back on them because that white... Definitely going to stand out. Your feet were all bleeding while she's walking through garbage and zombie guts. She's going to get an infection. Yeah. Now, again, I think that if the zombie blood gets into your blood, you should immediately be sick and die. I think that's true. But have we actually had that happen? Nope. Because we've had people get zombie blood into their mouths. I know. Which apparently doesn't cause a problem unless you're Father Gabriel. Everyone else has managed to shake that shit off. What happened to him? He got sepsis or something. Oh no, that's because he had the, the the guts all over do, him. They were they were rotten. Well, yeah, but your skin is, you know, it's got to go in through some kind of orifice or hole or something, right? Right, but it didn't have anything to do with the zombie part. It's just a, that it was bad, bad, bad juju. <laughs> that would have happened if he just covered himself in some rotting beef. He got it in his mouth and got well, it I sick. I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, if there his, was like rotting name? beef, the, the kid on Fear of the Walking Dead. What's what's the the, the dude that who has Nick. The horrible hair? Nick. There we go. Nick does that thing like every couple days. He just loves walking around covered in zombie guts. He doesn't get sepsis. I mean, Gabriel must have Gabriel had must have had a sore immune system. It's he had a cold sore. Oh, okay. <laughs> he had a little mouth herpes. All right, got it, got it. Makes sense. Something. Or herpes somewhere else that we didn't see. Ew. Soaked in through his clothes. What? I don't know. (laughs) Ew, that's the gross part. Well, I picture that there's like a massive 
Never mind. <laughs> He's just covered in oozing sores under his yes. clothes. Okay. So that was the end of Jadis. Lost or Plunderer? Lost. All right. And finally, Rick. Rick's on the horn with... Uh, I'm going to kill he, you. He looks at the letter first. He looks at... He stops... Oh, well, Michonne berates him for leaving Jadis behind. Because mm-hmm. that was exactly the opposite of what Carl would have wanted him to do. <laughs> that was pretty true. Pretty fucking true. Yes. Uh, I feel like Carl at some points told Rick that he was lost. That Rick was lost? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That sounds like something Carl would say. I can't remember if it was oh, while, while he was dying. Might have been. But or he said it to somebody else. A plunderer. I don't know. <coughs> um, Excuse me. What, what were we saying? All right. So Michelle makes Rick feel like shit. He pulls oh, yeah. over, pulls out the letters, and takes a look at the one for fucking Negan. And we don't see exactly what it says. But you didn't look up, up a screenshot of that. Oh, let me do that now. You talk about you talk about the call to Negan. All right. Well, I mean, it was all just a. Carl wrote a letter. <laughs> it was all just him telling Negan, you shithead, I, I'm going to come kill you. My son loved you for some reason and thinks that we should be friends and stop all this and make peace, but not going to do it. He's going to go kill him. You still got to die, Negan. You're a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. In Rick's defense... Everything that Carl wants is great, but Negan is still the guy that bashed in uh, Glenn's head. Glenn and um, the guy I love, oh, yeah. Bob, Bob DiStepolo. Why mm-hmm. can't I remember his name in Walking Dead? <sighs> you know who I'm talking Sarge? about. Sarge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the redhead guy. I I, I'd look it up, except right now I have a screenshot of the letter. Uh, but then, better yet, someone took the text off of the Super HD capture screenshot. All right, here we go. Paragraph one. Oh, this goody. is the text they got out of it. Okay. Negan, this is Carl. Back when I, someone, like this, there's parts missing, I got bit. We didn't know, but blah, 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 doing blah, blah, blah. I was just helping someone and you. Something, something. All right, paragraph two. So he was just explaining why he's dying, right? Paragraph two, you might be gone. Maybe my dad made, blah, 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 he killed you, but I don't think so. I think you, blah, 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 working on a way. Maybe you got out. Maybe, blah, 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 lost cause, and you just want to kill all of us. All right. Trying to figure Negan out, what he may or may not be doing at the moment of reading this letter. Maybe he's dead. Paragraph three reads, I think you have to be who you are. I just want, blah, 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 blah. that's what you wanted. I just wanted to ask you, and then it trails off. And then paragraph four, maybe you'll beat us. If you do, there'll just be someone. Blah, blah, blah. The way out is working together. It's forgiveness. Have to be uh, something. Start something, something, something. So it's a kid writing a letter. Yeah. Kind of rambles a little bit. But at least he says the point, like, even if you kill us all, this this doesn't really end. Like, there's never going to be a good life unless there's peace. This seems to be the message he's trying to get across. Mm-hmm. And somebody will just come take our place. Yep. So, <sighs> Negan hears the basic message. Well, first he hears that Carl died, and he was he's legitimately all sad. choked up. Yeah, he and loved did, did Carl. Did he tear up? Did he shed a tear? I think he at least teared up. I don't know if he actually cried. Yeah, I got the feeling that he he was a little teary. He wanted to know if it was one of his people. Mm -hmm. I imagine if Rick had said yes, it was Simon or something like that. (laughs) Simon would have gotten his skull caved in. Uh, But yeah. Too bad Rick didn't say yes. So Negan has a soul, which is, again, kind of interesting to see. I'm not sure that the governor had a soul. The governor was... He he was so crazy. Like there was that moment in time where he was like making a new family for himself, but he was just balls out, fucking crazy as shit. But Negan, I don't know. 
there's there I feel like there's a way that you can redeem Negan. Maybe not to the point where he's hanging out with Judith and they're picking beans together or whatever the fuck, but Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think that maybe Negan will sacrifice himself to save somebody. Hmm. Who is left that Negan cares about enough to save? Nobody. Judith? Hmm. He did like Judith, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He, she he sat on his lap. On her. Yeah, yeah. Had a nice day with him. Carl and Judith. Why doesn't he take a shine to anybody else's children? He shaved. <laughs> You're saying take a shine. <laughs> I did that to you. Did you? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, anyone else's children? Well, I don't know. Do we know? We haven't no, really seen I mean, him around any other children. Right. So, hmm. okay. Well, it's not maybe he'll, maybe he'll like Maggie and Glenn's baby. <laughs> maybe. Take a shine to that one. I crushed your daddy's <laughs> skull one day for talking sass. <laughs> <laughs> because his friend talked sass. Abraham. Abraham. I knew it was an A. It was going to come to me eventually. I hope everyone that's screaming at me has calmed down. Wasn't it actually not Abraham that talked? I mean, he did. That's why he got killed. But it was, um, what's his name? Daryl. Daryl didn't get got killed. got Glenn killed. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Daryl punched Negan. Yep, you're right. Mm-hmm. Rick was actually falling in line to try to save his people. He was about to cut Carl's hand off. Right. But then Negan stopped him. Thank goodness. What would you? I would have just thrown the knife right at Negan's face. <sighs> well, that's a tricky area because you I kill know, Negan. You can miss. Well, not even that, but like if you just like split Negan's skull open with a butcher knife or something. You've done a great thing for the world, but the immediate reaction of all of his people is going to be to kill everybody because you were surrounded. Probably, but I mean, it's, you're going to die anyway. Uh, I don't know. I guess you think maybe you won't die anyway. Like you have this way out. Everyone gets to live as long as you cut Carl's hand off. Um. But it was a little bit different for the garbage people. They could have just taken Simon and his people down, and that was the end of it. They were completely surrounded. Or just not let them in. Oh, God, they're so fucking stupid. That's why they live Uh, in the dump, babe. Yeah, I guess. All right, so Negan's all choked up. He's very, very sad. Um, And he's truly, truly sorry. That kid was the future. But Negan also turns it around on Rick. It's Rick's fault. He did, yeah. He wasn't there to protect him. That's right. If Rick wasn't busy waging war, he could have been there to protect Carl. And he's right. Kind of. Yeah. Taking down Negan's the right thing to do, but so is protecting your kids. Carl's old enough to protect himself. Carl was doing stupid shit that he wasn't supposed to be doing. That's true. Carl was a damn good shot, too. He was taking those guys down without a gun for a reason. Like, he could have used his gun on some of those zombies. That were coming after Sadiq. But he didn't. Mm-hmm. Well, it calls more. That's why. He has a silencer. It, look, it's a comic book movie silencer that actually silences your shots. All right. Unlike real world silencers. But, eh, I don't know. Yes, Carl did some stupid shit. Uh, but, yeah. And that that's how the episode ended. Is just Negan berating Rick and saying he failed as a leader and as a father. So, at that point, I would say Rick is definitely in the lost category. Not so much a plunderer. But now that we've reached the end, what did you think the lost and the plunderers mean besides just individual people being lost or plundered? Plunderers. Fuck if I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I've... it's been nice talking to you, babe. <laughs> I guess Again, I keep thinking that <laughs> I'm just I keep thinking like we're you. missing something. Well, I thought you had that something. I thought that's where we were. No, I never was. came around to All me. Right. I, I was. I was hoping that something would jog my memory, but. Well, if, if you are listening to this and you have any idea if there's a deeper meaning to the lost and the plunderers, kind of like how the walking dead is the deeper meaning of like the humans are the walking dead, not the walkers because they just, they're just dead inside or whatever that metaphor is supposed to be. Um, is it? So Yeah. Really? I think it's actually in the comic books at one point. I think maybe it's Rick that 
shouts it out for all to hear. We're the Walking Dead. Really? Uh, yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about the people. It's not about the zombies. Um. So anyway, if you guys have any ideas, drop us a line. We're on Twitter. Kid Free Weekend. Uh-huh. At Kid Free Weekend on Twitter. You can reach us via email. The Kid Free Weekend at gmail.com. Uh, what else we got? Facebook. Facebook? No. Yeah. Facebook.com slash The Kid Free Weekend. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Yeah. I think, I, I, I think I, I'm, you need to go to bed. I'm out of juice. I need to go to bed. Anything else, babe? Me too. Mm, no. Final thoughts? No thought. No. No. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm glad we could record this. I'm sorry for the sniffling and the coughing and the sneezing. <coughs> I'm glad that <laughs> it's <me>. back. <laughs> Am I coughing and sneezing? Walking Dead is oh, back. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got Fear of the Walking Dead and Westworld all coming really soon. I cannot so wait for Westworld. We've got a lot to do. So I better go get some sleep so mm-hmm. I can be healthy. Okay. All right. Love you. Aww. Everyone. Oh. Babe. I love you And too. Everyone. everyone. And Kevin Smith. In that order. I love you. I love our audience. Love Kevin Smith. Well, what about the rest of our family? Well, they're not listening to this. Okay. It better not be. <laughs> if you're listening to this, we're going to fucking have sex on microphone just to scare you away. Ew. No. Good night. <laughs>